What's good, y'all? Last night was the AMAs. And honestly, I was not impressed. Man, I knew walking into this thing, I was walking to one of the whitest award shows of the year. I knew this. But at the same freaking time, man. Yeah, damn. First off, throwing this out there, only one black person on the whole freaking night. Only three black performers, I remember. It's freaking racist. How is this the American Music Awards? But everything's starting to be based on pop and hip hop now. What they call it, anyways. Yeah, only three black people gonna win. What's going on here? I mean, the, the given award in the first freaking place, the hip hop award. And Michael Moore wins it. Over Jay Z, the legend and the current king of hip hop, y'all say he's the current king. Kendrick Lamar, Michael Moore wins. Well, if you can't win nowhere else, I guess you gotta get an award here. That's all that was. And what the hell's going on with the selection nowadays? Only three nominees per award? There was only like one award that was only like four. What, no one did shit this year? Is, is that a regular now? You pick three people out of all the artists there is? In America, you got the freaking Spanish Awards, Latin Awards, but you only can pick three American artists for each one of these awards? I wrote down some shit. Look, look. Pop Rock Male. Who won? Justin Timberlake. Fresh Male R&B. Who won? Justin Timberlake. R&B and Soul Album. Who won? Justin Timberlake. No disrespect to Justin, he's an icon, he killed this year, he deserves no goddamn awards. But, this shit wouldn't happen if you just look for... Okay, I might sound like a hypocrite, because I wouldn't even give a fuck about mainstream. But if you just freaking look for artists that's freaking doing their thing in the game right now, I mean, it's all freaking here. I don't give a damn if the, the freaking album just came out. People are bumping it, right? Ignorant ass. You ain't that freaking ignorant. You're supposed to listen to the people, right? God damn. Look at this shit. Artist of the year, Justin Timberlake won that too. Wait, no he didn't. Didn't Taylor Swift win that? Who wrote this? Taylor, I'm not surprised Taylor Swift won all of those awards because she wins those awards every freaking year. This gotta be the first AMAs I've watched in a long time in the first place. All I do is just really just hear about what happened. I don't really give a fuck about award shows, but somebody told me just to watch this, and whoever told me to watch this is fucking, oh man. You know what the hell with this? No awards suck. I don't know damn about these awards. Oh, best new artist that Nickelodeon star won. I don't know her name really. I thought that was kind of funny. Cause when she got up there, you know she didn't expect to win that shit, but at the same time she had a list of people she wanted to thank. It's not up for chess, but I don't know if it's just say, just in case precaution or she's still acting, but I thought that was fun. And when Sarah Silverman came out and with those jokes against some of the nominees, that was also funny. But the freaking people who introduced these awards sometimes are more entertaining than goddamn the people who got the awards and their substance speeches. That's how you tell this shit is fucking, anyways. Oh, yeah. oh, Rihanna won Best Soul in R&B. Huh. No, that's good. Uh, she got two awards. And she deserves the Icon Award. I don't care what no one says. She been in the game for too goddamn long. Went through too much bullshit not to be recognized with all the shit she be doing. <coughs> but, yeah. I don't care about any of these awards. So let's move on. How the fuck that nigga win Best Hip Now the performances. Actually, before I get into that, Pitbull hosted the awards. He started that award show off right for real, though. He came in, Pitbull was telling jokes and shit. He actually was funny. So, all the rappers get on your shit. All right, this one time T Pain hosted an award show. He tried to be funny. He had one good, funny bit. That book quarter thing. Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg wouldn't even try. 
He just brought other niggas out to help his ass out. He knew he ain't no damn comedian. Do that if you know you ain't gonna freaking... Some people can do it, some people know. That's all I'm saying. I didn't watch the VMAs, so I can't base an idea off what happened on the other white award show. But yeah. When it comes to the performances, some of these performances were off the goddamn chain. Man. That's the only reason I really watch these show, award shows in the first place for the performances. Because... I'll tell you this much. These people ain't famous for nothing, y'all. Some people actually got talent. Now, Katy Perry opened it. I walked out. I don't know. I don't like Katy Perry. Assassinate me. Now, Run Direction. I don't listen to them with for shit, but when they got on that stage and got, had that band in the background and did their thing on that thing, man, they rocked that shit. I ain't gonna lie. And they sound a lot more manly when they're live. A lot of boy bands do, really. Can't use all that false center all the fucking day. But yeah, that was pretty good. That Nickelodeon star again? I knew she could sing because I saw her off Victorious. But she did her thing out there today. That's why I'm glad she won that best artist day. As she put in work. Get artists who put in work to win these awards. Not the same motherfucker over and over again. Yeah, damn. If Hobson would have dropped his album, I American ain't going to vote for fucking Hobson. Eminem's album was dropped a year, uh, if he was dropped a month before this, Eminem's album, you know he would have won all these damn awards. They're just going to pick the biggest names to win these damn awards. They don't want to get no new artists or nothing. New artists is nominated for like three of these awards. Three of these awards. The alternative artists, the best new artists, and Pop Mail. Those, those are going to be the only albums, I mean not albums, the only awards new artists going to be really nominated for. But that's just back to these performances. Rihanna sung her heart out, man. That was cool. Shine bright like a diamond, nigga. That was, shit was off the chain. Damn. The whole shit J-Lo did, I couldn't even understand that shit. I walked out. I walked out and made the TV right there. Back in the rooms, back there. You doing something else. I don't know what the hell that was. Malcolm Moore, he's performing that same fucking song. I mean, the song's good, he's a good performer. But, nigga, don't win the whole fucking awards and shit for one song over and over again. Wait, that's the whole damn show. What the fuck I'm talking about? I don't like it. But the best awards you should be happy of winning in the first place should be the album awards. Don't just win for that one single you got on that one album. But I ain't listen to his album, so I'm going on too much. Justin Timberlake, that shit was fly. He had the whole band shit. That's why I like his performances, because he don't come alone. I'm not talking about what other artists is. He bring his own band and shit. Like what ra good rappers are trying to do nowadays. Like Kendrick Lamar did his performances. He bring you these underground bands, underground singers and rappers to help his, a help his ass out on the stage. And they be rocking that shit, man. That's how you're going to get known nowadays. The Kendrick Lamar come right out with that one woman. I can't remember her name right now, but he even introduced her and everything. She is going to blow up soon. I give her late 2014. She's going to blow up. She's going to be a stop. But yeah. Four of the Georgia line. I didn't believe in them niggas, but them niggas off the chain. Kesha and Pitbull. I'm not a fan of Kesha. Walked out. Christina Aguilera rocked out. All Kelly and Lady Gaga. That shit was amazing. <laughs> Lady Gaga know how to perform. Fuck y'all. I mean, I don't like her all that much too, but god damn. She know what the hell she doing. And R. Kelly, King of R&B, both of them together. Y'all shut the fuck up. And their performances were themed too. They had a theme, that whole President Kelly and all that shit. When performances have a theme, they're just that much better, man. And Imagine Dragons, oh my lord, that shit was off this goddamn shame. When they came in there with those big ass drums and that radioactive song. Okay, the one part I didn't like about that dog, that nigga was grabbing his shirt and raping around. I don't know what the fuck that was. But everything else was off the shame. I was getting that manly feel. I don't know why. I just felt like saying that. This band is manly. I like One Direction. It's manly. That's the audience you're trying to go to. Oh yeah, Georgia, Florida, Georgia line. When they brought out Nelly and did that ride with me thing, performance of the night. 
that was a nostalgia rush for me. And you know how I do. That was off the chain when they brought Nelly out there. That was amazing. TLC and Little Mama. TLC, I just got love for y'all, so I don't give a fuck what y'all do. It's gonna be fly to me. Little Mama, you did your thing. I don't give a fuck how much people gonna hate on your ass. They did, you did your shit. And that's pretty much everybody give a fuck about. But on my final note, the last performance, Miley Cyrus. Honestly, all I have to say is, thank you for just standing there and not doing shit. What her performance did is pretty much prove to everybody that she can still sing and she's still famous for something. That's what I like. After all this bullshit that happened to you all fucking year, kind of like how Kanye West did the VMAs a couple of years back. Come back out of nowhere, out of A, recollect everything and resurface, or just prove to everybody you're here for a fucking reason and you're doing your shit like no one else can. That's what Bobby Cyrus needed to do, that what she did, People's gonna be talking about that. That's what she needed. Congratulations, Molly. But yeah, I'm looking at this shit. Bunch of fucking artists I don't know. How the hell Daft Punk didn't win Electric Dance Artist? Yeah, damn. Country Fever Taylor Swift surprise there. Pop Rock Mail One Direction. I was one guy freaking. That's a band of people. God damn. This is really like best rock box. Bo the, 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 the. I'm done. Alright. That's it. BM. Not B. Sorry. AMAs. At the most, because of the kick ass performances, I'm giving you a B minus. Because you're a Wars who won that. Oh. Oh, god damn. Let me put it like this. I'm going to. Next year. I'm gonna try to look up and see who's performing. And the performance about the performances on that all, people already know who's gonna be off the chain. I ain't watching next year. That's y'all rating. Y'all ain't do enough good enough shit to bring me back. I haven't seen y'all show in three years, and this was whatever, man. Fuck it. Fuck the AMAs. That's my review. Fuck them. You watch this whole video, leave a comment. Like or thumbs down the video, depending on how you felt about the BMAs. VMAs, yeah, I go again. I hate the VMAs too. That's why I keep saying that. It's a VMA vibe here. I hate these. You know what? BET, Black Entertainment Television. They do hip hop awards. I'm a hip hop guy. That was an award show I like to watch. You no know, rappers stepped their game up now thanks to Kendrick. You no know, damn well that shit real. These pop artists ain't got to step their game up. People going to listen to them say the same shit over and over again on a song any goddamn way. Look at rock making a comeback. These rock artists putting in work. Hip hop artists putting in work. You saw Michael Moore's performance. All that energy he had in that day. Did you see Kendrick perform? All I'm saying is, you got people like Gaga trying to put in work. That's the direction you need to go in. Yeah, you, One Direction. I said your performance was fly, but y'all niggas just stood up there in suits. I freaking talked all goddamn day. Step your game up. Step your goddamn game up. Or I'm not coming back. Kiss my ass. I love you.